This is a Mary May Studio production, where gaming is not for just your average show. Welcome back, everybody, to my SnowRunner adventure. We continue in Wisconsin. We ran out of fuel here, so I had to bring down a truck. Bring over some fuel. Remember last time we were doing the... Bringing over a big container down here. To the flooded out town. But today I'm back on the paper factory doing the contract. Just gonna get out of here and mark my way over there. I think I'm gonna get the metal beams first, finish off that requirement. And then what do we need? 12 metal rolls? Holy cow. Okay, well, I gotta go by the garage. All the way to the other side of the map. The only place left I have metal rolls as part of construction. Which is going to be down here past this other fuel station. And then down past the gateway to Greenwoods River. All the way down here. I don't think I have any up here left, do I? Yeah, just the one. <clears throat> and then what I need to do is find all these metal rolls. I think it's going to be a crafting episode. Depending on how long it takes us to get there and back. So I was attempting to play some SnowRunner multiplayer last night. And I ran into another interesting glitch. Now, I didn't run into it. It was uh, one of my friends I was trying to play with. She had no save game to work with. Her save game was just gone. There we go. I'll winch the back, give us a bit of a boost. Yeah, so it's... She may have to either recover the save game from wherever it ended up, or just redo the prologue. Have to redo a save game just to play multiplayer again. I've never had that. I've just had the duplicate truck glitch, and I've had a lot of them. I ended up playing my own save game last night, and once again, I had another truck that just ended up at a, a tunnel, an extra truck. Now, there's a new truck out for this game. It's a new step, I believe it is, called the Crocodile. I'm not going to get it just yet. I did buy the Season Pass, but it doesn't look like it's included in the Season Pass. Otherwise, I would have got it. So far, the Season Pass has only been helpful for the... expansions and the phases. I think I have a Season Pass as well for Farming Sale. Which is good upcoming DLC. March 22nd, not that far away. <clears throat> I'm a little excited to see that one and see what new new stuff this additional equipment can do. There we go. Back to that first fuel station. I think I'll just skip this one and I'll refuel it the second. 
since I fully fueled at that service trailer. Now this here is where we're going to be bringing all this back to. Now, once I pick up these metal rolls, I'm gonna see where I have to get metal rolls from. I'll have to craft more metal beams, I'm pretty sure. Okay, where? Oh, we got another mud hole to go through. I gotta come through all of this with the beams too. Let's get those diff locks back on. There we go, almost out of it. I think I'm gonna skip over the entire trip back. Oh, that's right, I came through all of that to build this bridge across the railway here. I remember that. That was a while ago now. Here's the other fuel station. I'm gonna stop here. There we go. Fully fueled. And this should be the tunnel to the next map. Beyond it, right here. Now, there probably was closer metal beams, but I wanted to grab these last ones. So I hate having all these... cargo scattered around everywhere. And I already started that one. And here is the metal beams. And away it goes. Is there a better way back? There is. There's a little bridge right here. And I could just follow the beach back and go up this way. That would save going through a lot of mud. So let's go down this way. Nope. Through here, actually. Around the saving, the farmer's machinery here. Across here. And then up here. This might be a terrible idea, especially now that it's raining. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to go all the way up there. I can just go across right here. There, I recalculated all these. Accept that task. Oh, that does not look like a very good bridge. Oh, boy, don't hit the railing. All right, get off the bridge. Get off the bridge. I should have came this way. I wouldn't have had to deal with all the mud. This looks like where we're going up. Indeed it is. Turn, you fool. There you go. Let's winch from the side here. There we go, now we're rolling. 
for only a short time. Oh, come on, why does it keep winching me to stupid little branches? Well, I'm not sure if this was fast. But more of an adventure, I will say. Okay, now we're on the last stretch going back up to the road. No. Don't roll over. Of course, it's going to drag a twig. There, we should be good to go now. With all those blasted rocks that kept slowing me up. There we go, now we're back at the paved road. Now it's showing me a crafting center over there on the island. That might be where we have to craft metal rolls. There we go. The only thing left is the metal rolls. So, where do we get them? I am seeing nothing except the warehouse way over here. Let's go way over there. Find out what we can get. Or, can we do this? Uh, buildings, warehouse. We do have metal rolls. We have four of them. Either way, we have to craft some. So I highly doubt we'll get all of them in one episode, so we may just come back and grab those at a later day. Let's do crafting. Why? We haven't crafted anything other than containers. There's no metal rolls there. No metal beams, sorry. Roll production site. Crafting zone. We can craft fuel pipes, cargo container, packaged sand. This warehouse, we have nothing we need. Uh, we generate metal beams from here. Okay. So we'll head out of here and we'll go back to where we were. This I will skip over because we did this journey already at the start of the episode. I'm not even going to mark it out on the map. So I'll see you guys over there. You know, on the way over here, I just remembered I still have that other truck over here. But the downside is it only has three cargo slots on the back. I need four. And I want to pick up two metal beams. So here we go to the generating station where we want to pick up. Now it appears I need to drag this into position. And it might be worth getting a few of them and just placing a generator at each generating station. Pull it forward in the box. And I need to turn on the generator. It'll open everything up like that. Now we're ready to go here. 
I just got to detach the trailer once again. Now, on the trailer, to in stock. There we go, now we can load up with them. So, left trigger and right trigger scrolls through the loading, unloading, and crafting. Now, I don't want to leave that generator running. You better not tip over. Good. I've had problems with that, dropping them on the ground rather than asphalt. The trailer tips over. There we go, we're done with that. I don't know if it continues to use fuel if you leave the generator running. I know it does to craft. Okay, we're gonna spend the night here before we go craft these up. So I will see you in the morning. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I think I'll turn around right here. Uh, might be a bad thing. There. Now we're gonna go all the way back around the way we came. So once again, I'll skip over that. Because I'm literally going back to the paper factory. The only difference is I'm going across the other way, across the river. Now here we are, instead of going right, we're going to go left. Now I'm hoping we get four metal rolls out of this, which will leave eight more. Oh, I should have used a big trailer and I could have just done them all in two loads. The six slotted trailer. Well, too late now. We're going to have to do them in three. That's assuming we get four from this. Unless, of course, I go get the... metal rolls with uh, new paystar. That could work. I wouldn't have to haul a trailer to do that. I think there was three over there. I might just do that. Here we go, up on the island. Get these all crafted up. Oh, we have to drop them off first, don't we? And okay, now we have to craft. Okay, so I have four metal rolls in stock. Good, I did get four. So if there's three there, that means four plus three, it'll be seven. That means I only need five. Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. I'll pick up uh, all the rest of the metal rolls from the warehouse with the star. Well, that one, I think was my first time crafting. We'll get these dropped off. First load of metal rolls. 
Okay, I'm going to leave the episode there. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment if you wish to do so. I hope this look at crafting metal rolls was a little bit of an experience. It came with... Which DLC is this? Uh, phase 3. So it's been out for a while. So if you're new to the game, I hope this was beneficial. As always, I'm Joe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.